I walk back in, right? I walk back in. It was Brian, I swear. Bruh. Bruh. Apparently he dropped one. He dropped one right there. Mm -mm -mm. Scotty, Scotty, Scotty. <laughs> no, I don't think he did either. See his like, huh? <laughs> No, all right, I'm gonna go back to stocking these things. Hey, you want to do me a favor, though? No, no, no. Damn, okay. I'm just kidding. What do you want, boy? A couple towels? Uh, the paper towels? Or like the actual towel towels? I don't know. What do you think? All right, napkins. Gotcha. What? Napkins? Yeah, you want napkins, right? Boy, that's, that's too small. I need a piece of cardboard. <laughs> oh, dude. You know what you look like? The office? When <laughs> Kevin drops his chili? <laughs> But you use cardboard and paper. Yeah, man. Let's see him attempt this, actually. Ooh, this is good content right here. Ah, uh, Uno content. I should probably stock this. Wait, I need two pieces, so I can kind of chisel it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scott. Slow down progress. Well, on the real, maybe you can give me them. Uh, watch out. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> yeah, someone had a little accident, you know what I'm saying? Sorry. Yeah, someone, you mean the boy cleaned it up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey. Tell it Chef, not to see it, yo. As long as Gil doesn't pop up in here, I'm okay. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Someone had a little accident, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, why don't you get the squeegee in the dustpan? Uh, cause, I don't know. <laughs> I forgot we had that. <laughs> this is working, actually. Because of you, I've never been <laughs> Hey, uh, Brian, it's about those towels, buddy. <laughs> Is that Alright, I'm gonna stop filming this, this is funny though. So, yeah, let's get back to the normal video, shall we? You stole my heart of gold After my silver soul Can you dig any deeper now? I gave you all I own Put you on this golden throne But I'm a little stronger now You cast in on my promises you know I'm too generous Now I've learned to never help you out Cause I'm done cleaning up your mess Found myself in my regrets I've become a little stronger now A little stronger now What's going on guys? It's me Brian D here and today we have a or one of the bigger things that we have going on today is the town hall meeting um, to discuss the off-campus situation that's going to happen next year. Um, but as you, uh, as you guys have seen already, uh, we've already been to the gym, we, we ate lunch, we went to our first, first and only class for today and um, <clears throat> so yeah we're just waiting until about 4.30 for the meeting to start. I'll get more in depth with the with the meeting, um, like the reasoning behind it and all that stuff um, later when when the boys when myself and the boys are walking to the meeting. Uh, but for right now, I need to start and finish my homework. If it focuses, it's not gonna focus. There you go. Um, so yeah, I need to start and finish that. It's not, it's not too bad. Um, it's just a little short little essay that I got going on. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's time for me to study. 
and then we'll go into that town hall meeting. All right, guys, so we're heading to the meeting now. It is approximately 16.10 or so. You mean 16.14? Okay, as you were, 16.14. I don't have a watch on my wrist. But yeah, so background on this, I'm, uh, I'm gonna have Scott explain it because I, I, I really oh, I don't know. Well, because I don't know how to explain it. Like, okay. It does. Oh, okay, so basically, Cal Maritime bought a place <laughs> and said that, you know what? We're not gonna be giving people off campus next year. Is making everyone that goes to school here, live on campus, and like there's no off campus. So this meeting's about that and how we feel um, about this whole like Motel 6 and stuff things. This is definitely the entire school is going to show up. Exactly, that's the point. That's why school got like just a little group of No, they were waiting for us. Let's go. We got a what now? Oh, whoa! Hey, yo! All right, this is lit. Let's go. Oh, I thought it'd be crowded in here. Not gonna lie. Lack of confidence. That's it. We're going to give a little bit of history as to how we got where we are today. Many of you who have walked around the campus have seen some version of this residence hall rendering. Policy for many years as the California Maritime, California State University Maritime Academy. It is the policy of Cal Maritime that students enrolled in its baccalaureate degree programs maintain residence on campus and participate in the meal plan. However, when campus enrollment exceeds the number of available beds, an exemption for off-campus housing can be made. Hearing with, will all students have to live back on campus? And the answer is no. Not all students will move on to campus in the fall. A higher grade point average, a higher retention rate, a higher graduation rate, and a higher level of satisfaction than students who go to live on campus. We understand that nationally, and we understand that um, all, all right. Well, look behind you. Look behind you. Look behind you. Let's get it. I would look at you raising up a whatever that red signal says. Boy, you know what that red signal means. Evidence and research centers. Otherwise, we have to start from right in the middle, right there. I'm sorry. If I may, oh, no questions at this time. Okay. Because we have. A whole lot of questions that many of you asked regarding this um, already. We are prepared to answer those questions first, and then we'll open it up for questions and answers from the audience as well. Just wait. You Because you put in that effort and 
Thousands of students and graduates have put in that effort before you, before you got here. And hopefully because you will continue to put in that effort and, uh, and upon graduation get the kind of success that our graduates have had, then we, um, we will recognize, you will start to recognize the value of that effort. The progress that the campus has made the um, environment that we provide for our students has led to the graduation rate, uh, has led to the job placement rate and the kinds of jobs that we do. When our industry comes back and hires our graduates, yeah, and hopefully you'll all attend the job fair. That's the kind of um, information that they'll tell you. We come to the California Maritime Academy because of the Maritime Academy experience that it provides. Okay? And we make no apologies for that. We understand it. We make no apologies for it, we believe it, we trust in it, we know the system works, and we thank you for coming to California American Academy uh, when you apply for it and when you come. Not as uh, probably a little more technical here, there is also a code of federal regulations that requires for maritime academies that we have maintaining adequate berthing, messing, classroom instructions, facilities ashore, as well as for the training ship. The federal maritime academies are subject to this and many other requirements. Not a federal, not a federal.
tried to report for housing. Housing didn't do anything. Junior year, uh, I showered in the dark because for about eight months, we didn't have a working light in our shower. And the toilet was all Senior year, senior year ran the best extension of the we got We all had to leave campus to get everyone to cancer. And this year, this is the year where I have a kid in my dorm room that thinks it's the best thing in the world to just take a whiz all over the toilet seat, all over the floor. And I actually had to clean up poop from underneath the toilet seat. Oh, that's like, yeah, you got poop on the handle, they don't want to see the toilet. Oh. <laughs> I gotta ask you this. Do you think it's unreasonable that people like me who've been doing this stuff for a while and have been experiencing these things? Do you think it's unreasonable that we should be a little bit upset at the fact that we are paying eleven $1 hundred and fifty dollars or close to that a month to experience these things? When I could just as easily take five hundred dollars a month to go live somewhere on Vallejo, get laundry on site, get a kitchen on site, get parking on site, Bruh. and not have to worry about the whole time I have to clean up someone else's and stranger food from us <laughs> Alright guys, so basically, as you guys saw, I don't, I don't know what parts I'm editing in, what parts I'm editing out, but from my point of view, I mean, we should have the option just to get off, off campus. I mean, the, there's no... Seniors at the least. Yeah, seniors at the least. There's, there's no reason why we shouldn't have that opportunity, right? A, we get to learn, we get to educate ourselves on how to be an adult, right? Adult life and all that stuff. Um, and it gets us away. Like, for me, for us, like, we like getting away from campus. Um, hey, Mom, what's up? Sorry, Mr. Like, I'm, sure, I'm sure Scott can vouch. Like, when we go off campus, we have the time of our lives. It's fun. Yes, it's, it's fun going to school here and all this stuff, but in the end, like, I would have so much, uh, I would have a better experience if I were to live off campus next year. Now the three years that I've been living on campus, it's been fine, it's, it's been good. But I, I kind of wouldn't want to be here my last year because then once we go to the fleet and all that stuff and I don't know how to do all these adulting stuff, then we're, we're kind of screwed, right? So, uh, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's hard because there's going to be so many different types of difficulties for everyone. And basically, though, from being in there, like, they never... Okay, yes, they directly answered some of the questions, but they were, like, the most simplistic questions. The questions we were asking, like, they were kind of, like, I would, I would say, like, half... They would, they would, I don't want to say half ass, but they didn't really fully answer the questions, so... So we, we still don't know. Scott, Scott, what are your thoughts? I mean, you kind of nailed it. It's just like, probably not going to get it because they, you know, I think they already have a decision. They're just not giving it out. And they're going to lie about, you know, whatever. So it's kind of useless. Once he said, like, once he said what he said back there, that last one, I just, that kind of affirms, like, well, Sorry, you're not gonna get. They can't like, oh, I, you know, we believe that students on campus like have a better life or whatever. Once you said that, I was just, it's kind of like they already have this pre notion that oh, we're not gonna give any students off campus except you know for those four criteria. So yeah, it sucks. So chances are we're not gonna get it. Fun. Yeah, and that's the sad part. Sad part. But guys. That's going to do it for today's video. If you liked the video, hit that like and subscribe button for more. I'll try to keep you guys updated on this living off campus type deal. And I know it's probably dark, so you can't really see my face, but it's whatever. Um, you know, like thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.